On this video, I'm gonna show you a hack on how you can find amazing rent-to-rent -rent deals, both SA and HMO, on Rightmove. So super simple, anybody can do this. You could do this from home. You can do this from anywhere in the world. Meaning even if you are deciding to invest remotely, you can do this right now. But I'm gonna go into more on that in just a few moments. If you're brand new to the channel, I'm Simon, rent to rent specialist and mentor. And over the past five years, I've built a seven figure revenue rent to rent business. And that is a combination of SA and HMO. And I started this channel to help other people do the same. Because once you've built cash flow up, and you can get out of work or supplement your family's income, you can then reinvest that money into assets that you own for long-term legacy wealth, and then you are fully, fully financially independent, and that's what I've done, and that's what I try and help as many other people do as possible. This is the biggest home of rent to rent anywhere on the internet. We've got over 300 rent to rent specific videos. So if that sounds good, hit the subscribe button. So let's get into it. We're going to get up right move and the first thing you want to do is simply search for your area. Now, <laughs> I believe in the rent to rent radius and that's a principle I've built to enable an optimum level of not only sourcing deals, managing deals, but scaling the business. And that is you ideally want to be investing within five miles of your home or 20 to 30 minutes car drive. The reason I say that is because in London, you, you, you could take 45 minutes to get five miles. You don't really want that. We wanna be 20 to 30 minutes drive, five miles radius from home, or push comes to shove, you can go as far as 20 miles. Now that's only when you first start. Once you've mastered these systems, mastered everything, sure you can go further afield, but at the beginning, let's search in your rent to rent radius. So let's say for example, you're in Southampton, all I'm gonna do is go on right move, search Southampton, let's go for the city center, and I'm gonna click on properties to rent. Next, I want to go for houses. Now I know what you're thinking, why houses? Serviced accommodation works for apartments, that's all good, but for me, houses are obviously best for HMO and they're also best for SA because you don't need to worry about disturbing the neighbors, where to put the key safe, the lease conditions, you don't have to worry about these things. So me personally, I'm all about houses. And when I've done apartments in the past, even when the lease has permitted it, it's become problematic due to the neighbors and the owners ended up trying to, you know, give me notice and I've ended up giving them back. And I've seen this countless times. So yeah, it might be easier for you to get an apartment in a bigger city, but if you can get the houses, trust me, you will not regret it. So I'm putting houses and then I wanna put a minimum of, let's go for minimum two beds for this search. Uh, price range is irrelevant. So let's find properties. And as I discussed, you wanna go within five miles. So let's say you was in the city center of Southampton, you'd be looking within a five mile radius. Now notice 195 results come up, which is solid. I'm looking for more than 50 results within a five mile radius. Otherwise your gold mine probably won't be scalable. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I'm showing you the principles here. This works for SA and HMO. So let's just start off with a two bed that we could use for SA. So one thing I really like to do is I like to click on map uh, on the top right hand side there because then what that allows me to do is I can see where these properties are in relation to the city. So as you can see, I can see where all these properties are and I can start to really get a flavor for this. So this red box here is a hospital. So I like, I like that. That's one of my guest magnets that I'm looking for. So I can click here and I can think, mm, yeah, actually there's a few properties there, uh, five beds actually, because I'm on two bed plus on this particular search. So, you know, you can see some HMOs over here. So this is clearly an area where there's a lot of HMOs. How do I know they're HMOs? Because it says seven bed terrace available from the 1st of July, which would suggest it's a student HMO. Um, another one, look, student property, not very nice. 
By the way, student properties are a great opportunity to rent to rent because whilst the landlord might want a group of four or five or seven students, they will be more than open to a company coming in, taking on the whole property for five years and meaning they don't need to worry about occupancy rates. But I think my favorite property I've seen so far is I quite like this one actually, um, this five bed. There's two of them, is it the same property? It looks like it could be the same property actually, um, but this one's got the better picture, so let's open that one. I open that. Now this is where you've got two options, all right? But we'll have a little look, but you've got two options here in terms of what happens next. So first things first, it looks to me like this is being advertised by two agents. What that tells me is that the landlord's motivated already. So that's a green flag. Now, when I'm scrolling through, um, I can also see evidence of a refurb because that looks like a shower screen. Um, yeah, another ladder. So they've just done a refurb. It looks nice. They're going to be motivated because they've just spent money. So first things first, I'm like, hmm, that could work. The second good thing about this property is as it's a five bed, depending on Article 4 in this area, it could potentially work as an SA or HMO. Big, big green flag. I scroll down, it's saying 12 months tenancy agreement. It's saying that it's a terraced house, it's a family house. This all looks really good to me. Now, I now have two options. Option number one, I call the letting agent and I try and arrange a viewing. Option number two, I don't call the letting agent. I click on the property, I zoom in. It looks to me like, and I can see here as well, this is likely to be number 75 Denzel Avenue. So what I can actually do is simply do a land registry search to get the owner's information and I can reach out to them via direct mail or social media to try and arrange a viewing with them directly. Another thing I would like to do is as I can see they've just done a refurb, it's very likely the owner might be in and out or the trades people are there still doing the finishing works. So what you can do is I can go down there, see if I can bump into them and invite myself in to do a viewing and put an offer in. So right move is an amazing tool because you've got all these leads right there and then. And I know what you're thinking. Doesn't it cost to do a search on uh, Lambreg? Yes, it does. But the key thing to remember here is three pound compared to the return you could get from this listing, a thousand pound a month for say five years, you're looking at 60K. So I'm like three pound, 60K. Another thing to remember is if you went out and used a deal source, so they wouldn't be charging you three pound, they'd be charging you 3,000 pounds, okay? Now I'm gonna go a step further here because let's, suggest that we want to use this property as a serviced accommodation unit and the larger units are amazing for construction and people that are staying in the property for longer and keep in mind for the companies who are motivated by cost saving it's way better for them to put a team of five or a team of four or a team of seven into a whole house serviced accommodation rather than six or seven hotel rooms so what I want to do now is show you my nifty deal calculator to work out if this is a deal. Let's check it out. So welcome to my rent to rent 2.0 deal calculator. Now I've got one of these for SA and HMO, but as I'm thinking this deal has great potential for SA, let's jump into this right now. So as you can see, amazing deal calculator and I was sick to death of all these broken spreadsheets and Excel and numbers on Mac that were just so slow and clunky. So I've actually invested significantly in building these amazing calculators. And if you're interested in them, do me a favor, just in the comments, type calculator, all right, type calculator and put your email address and I'll drop you a line to let you know how you can get access to these calculators. So let me show you how it works. So top left hand side, you're going to see the average nightly rate. So in order for us to know this, what you would do, and I'm not going to do it now, what you would do is you would go on Airbnb and booking.com. You would look at other five bed properties to benchmark and see what you think you could 
charge conservatively. Now, I know Southampton, I've got a few mentees down there absolutely smashing it. And I know for a fact that for a five bed, you are going to be looking at at least £200 per night. So you literally punch in £200 per night. Keep in mind, this is excluding cleaning costs. So we're going to add the cleaning costs onto the guest. So you don't need to worry about that. Guaranteed rent to landlord is 1700 Council tax, let's just estimate 200 Gas and electric on a five bed is going to be quite a decent amount. So we'll go for 300 Water, let's go for 50 Internet, let's go for 30 TV license, let's go for 15 Maintenance, let's go for 50 um, Let's look at uh, amenities, 75 And then let's do this right here. So we click submit, bang. It tells you that that's a deal. So we now know that at 47% we break even. That's after all your costs, all your utilities, your council tax or business rates, whatever, it's after everything. So now you can rock and roll. Now, keep in mind, average net nightly rate is 170 pounds. The reason it's 170 is because the calculator automatically deducts the OTA commission from Airbnb and Booking.com. It totals your expenses for you, so you don't have to. It totals the potential gross income at 100% occupancy. And it even tells you the maximum you can offer the landlord while still breaking even at 50%. And what I love about this is on the right hand side, um, you know, my average occupancy is 80 to 90%. That's what I'm seeing. So you can see this deal is going to generate in between 1,600 and 2,200 quid per month net cash flow. So that would be a deal. I would either call the agent or I would take the steps to get direct to vendor and get that deal across the line. If you found this video useful, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. If you know and you think and you believe I am the king of rent to rent, type king in the comments. I'll speak to you in the next video. I appreciate the support. And whatever you do, don't wait 25 years. Get creative.